Hi everybody, my name's Damien. I'm the Customer Success Manager here at Trade the Fifth. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a quick installation guide on our Elliott Wave suite for the Trade Station version 10 platform. Uh, so once you've purchased the product, you're going to get an email that looks a little bit like this. So what we want to do is we want to download the version 10 DIL file setup and we also want to download the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So you can click the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, it'll download it automatically. Once you click the version 10 deal file setup, it will take you to a Dropbox page. Okay, so this is the Dropbox page. Now you don't need to sign in or register, you'll just see something that says here, download. So all you're gonna do is click that and you're just gonna do a direct download. That will download the file straight away for you. So with the Elliott Wave suite uh, download, you don't need to open it, you don't need to do anything. Just make a note of exactly where you save that file. However, with the deal file, you do need to uh, just open it up. So once, you, uh, once you've downloaded it, you click it, you will get a warning message potentially like this. Don't worry about it, just click more info and click run anyway. You'll then get a pop-up like this. So all you need to do is literally just click install and then finish. That's as quick as it needs to be. So I've opened up TradeStation version 10. Here we are in the dashboard. Now first thing you need to do is obviously achieve a, a license key from ourselves. So to do that, we need to get your customer number and you do that by going up to here to help. You go down to about TradeStation and then you take a note of the customer number here. You copy that and then you paste and email that to info at tradethefifth.com I will then respond back with your license key. So what we need to do first is we now need to import the file that we've downloaded. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to here to file and then we're coming down to import, export, easy language. Okay, now we go over here. What we want is the second one down. So import ELD, ELS or ELA file. We click next and this is why I said we needed to make a note of exactly where you saved the, the Elliott Wave file because we need to go to browse and here we go. So I've saved money in my downloads folder. You do that, click next, make sure both of these are checked and then go next. Make sure everything here is checked as well and then you finish. You'll get a message saying that there will also be transferred as well. You just click OK to that. And then if you get one of these messages, just yes to all. OK. And then we do the verification. And then eventually you get the successfully imported your studies. So now that we've downloaded the files, we've imported them into TradeStation, we need to then assign them to our charts. So the next phase we do is we go to here, chart analysis. Click that. It will then take you into a chart. I'm just going to increase this size here. Um, so we need to add it as a study. So we're going to right click on the, on the chart. We're going to go down here to studies and then we're going to go to add study. Now we have here, obviously I've got the breakout ones, but ignore those for the time being. What we want is the edit wave, Elliott Wave Oscillator and the False Breakout Stochastic. So you can hold Control and click to highlight all three in one go. If you're using a Mac, you can hold the Command key. So once we highlighted those, we click OK. We're going to get uh, an error message because obviously we haven't added um, our license key to it just yet. And so now what we need to do is we need to add your license key. So in order to do that, what we do is we right click we go back to studies, but now we're going to go to edit studies. We're going to click that and you'll see here the Elliott wave, eh, the status is off. So we click the status to on, then we click customize above and you'll see down here the license key is below. What you do is you highlight that and paste in the license key I sent to you. Make sure you include the speech marks as well. What we also do here is you change the start bar to one. I will add my license key in a second, but then the next thing you do is click default. And then you say, do you want to change the default inputs? Yes, you do. Click that, then click OK, then click close. For those of you who have used version 9.5, the one thing you'll notice that's missing is the analysis commentary tool. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to enable the classic toolbar. 
Uh, this allows us then to isolate the waves a bit easier. So to do that, we're going to go up here, we're going to go to View, we're going to go down to Application Toolbars, come across and we're going to select Customize. Now you're going to see here three options. What we want is Toolbars, and then you're going to check the box next to Charting Tools Classic. Click that, Apply, and there we have it. The analysis commentary is there. What we're going to do now is we're going to isolate the wave count. Effectively, what we're doing is telling the system this is the recent high or low, uh, and this is the origin of the trend that I wish to follow. Okay, so what we're going to do is go up to the analysis commentary tool which we've just installed. Uh, I'm just going to select basically if you're going for a low point you just want to click underneath one of the, the low candles if it's a high point you're going to just click above the above the top of the candle so for here we're going to use the low point we're going to click here and we get a current bar number which is 1618 so we're going to take note of that and we're going to close that down we are then going to right click go into studies and we're going to edit the study again uh, where the edit wave is, uh, where we did the customize for the license key, we are going to just change the start bar here to that number, so 1618. We're going to click OK, and we click Close. And here we go, the pushback, the pullback zones even are here. It's still only on the third wave at the moment, but it's still building itself across. Another thing I want to show you is just regards to styling so it makes things a little bit easier for you. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our mouse over the blue line here. And then we're going to right click. And we're going to edit the edit wave. Now what we want to do is we want to change the color. So obviously we've got the normally uh, the, the, the Mar Buy and the Mar Sell. So the Buy, we want to change the color from blue and we're going to go more for a green color, um, something like that. And then obviously the Sell, we're going to keep as red. Uh, style, we're going to go in. Ideally what I would say is go for the third one down. You don't want anything thicker than that to be honest. Uh, and then we're just going to do that with that one as well again so I'm just going to click OK again see it just makes things much much easier to, to read and finally I just want to go through the data set rules this is hugely important because if you get these wrong or if you go back too far you're not going to get the information correct or it's going to slow the system down dramatically because there's so many different uh, algorithms being run okay so if you're doing a chart time frame of 15 minutes or less you don't want to go back any further than five days if you're doing 50 to 60 minutes uh, 60 days really 240 minutes one year and then obviously you can see daily is two years and if you're doing a weekly time frame you can go back as far as five years uh, but I would say stick to this and you'll find you won't go wrong I get a lot of people actually coming to me with these kind of problems uh, and it's normally going back to the data set rules so thank you very much for your time guys. Um, like I said, if you've got any questions or any comments on this video, please feel free to email me. You can contact me at info at tradethefifth.com.